The Earth objects and space debris from multivalence polarimetry at the Nordic Optical Telescope. This is actually a project led by Karri Muinonen, but unfortunately he wasn't able to join us for, for this specific meeting this time. So uh, I'm Anne Virki and I'm also participating in this project. Uh, so essentially, scientifically, this is primarily asteroid photometry and polarimetry. So taking observations of different types of asteroids uh, and then modeling for the different taxonomical classes. So essentially, asteroids for which different spectra have been measured. Uh, you can also see differences in their photometric and polarimetric properties. Uh, but primarily this is about the, uh, using the Nordic Optical Telescope more for, for example, the European Space Agency Space Safety Program. Uh, so we are planning to increase the number of uh, asteroid observations uh, in this SS Space Safety Program or STP uh, observation kind of framework. And it means that, that the Nordic Optical Telescope could become more central asset in these kind of observations of both NEOs and space debris. And in 2022, S2P uh, is getting this kind of 100,000 uh, euros of funding uh, that was meant for Finland for these kind of space safety. Uh, oh, <laughs> what happened here? Thank you. <laughs> no worries. Uh, uh, okay, where was I? Yes, these 100,000 uh, euros for, for these kind of observations, which uh, would uh, be essentially this uh, foremost polarimetry, but also photometry and, and spectroscopy observations of the asteroids. And then in the future, from 2023 onwards, it might be realistic to plan also for an annual investment in this same program for new observations at the level of, of about 50,000 uh, euros per year. And as of now, the war in Ukraine is causing some delays here, uh, but we are continuing these, these discussions uh, in Finland and also, also with the ESA. And also the space debris observations remain as a, a future opportunity, which would probably be a separate funding and would require a little bit more of like a technical mm, detailing of, of how can it be done effectively with the Nordic Optical Telescope, but uh, it's also something that, that we are considering. And yeah, if you want to discuss more this topic, uh, then you can come and look for me during the breaks. <laughs>